guys, it's Cuba Beast Boy Darkness here, and welcome to Melissa Hart. Um, so apparently this is a internet dating type game where this girl pops up on your new computer, and um, apparently you just start a conversation with her, and it's a horror game, I think. So we're just gonna go ahead and check it out. Welcome to the library system. Oh, let me just adjust my seat. Okay. Welcome to the library system computer. Please type in your username. Okay. I, I can't uppercase it. Okay. Please type the command. Start up the owns. Oh, I gotta type it. Okay, start. No, I don't have to type it. Executing date time now. Please hold. This is Morris. He may have a bad, bit of a bad boy side, but no, nah, I don't want to talk to this dude. I'm not gonna. I turned off auto because I don't have time to read it. I don't want to talk to this dude. This is Anna. She's a sporty gal who loves the challenge. From kickboxing to horror movies, she is all about fun and all about energy. Is it going to switch from this girl or get out your wallet sign and show how much of a cool, nasty person you are? I do like some energy, but I'll, I'll pass. This is Melissa. She's a sweetheart in the A bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book and always has wanted to be a talented artist. But she isn't into sports, so jocks, please talk. Please do not apply. If you want to smooch from this girl, you need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. Technically, since this is the name of the game, you are dating Melissa. You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Loading scenario. In a small eye of the town, you want to meet Melissa. Your date for the... Your date for this evening. You flirted with her through letters but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart. As you stare out into this beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving to you. And you wave back. <laughs> you wave at her cheeringly. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. Hello, you must be... Yes, that's me. It's finally... It is great to finally meet you. I've been so excited. And nervous. It's great to meet you as well. Don't worry, I feel, I felt excited and nervous as well. Let's, let's be gentle. Let's be a gentleman about this. It's great to finally meet you as well. Yay! Let's go to the park to talk. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. 
The park of this town is so fetching and romantic. Every spot in the park is a vantage point of something beautiful. A swan pond. A bed of beautiful lilies. And a bench for a couple to sit on to look at the autumn sky. It's very convenient. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. Wow, already with the... No, too early into the day. It sure is. I like to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially because since I'm so much into the natural sciences. Like, look at the swans here. Did you know a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? Pretty cool, right? Oh, sorry, I nerd out sometimes. I'm sorry, did you feel I'm a nerd myself. Why my glasses? Hold on one second. See, she's not the only nerd out here. Let me check my glasses. You have moments that talk what felt like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. She even mentioned the books she likes to read. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. <sighs> yeah, I know, I'm kind of a nerd. Look, I'm a nerd too. You don't even gotta worry about nothing. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. You became so in enraptured by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. It was an early evening now, and you felt a bit of a chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh, I didn't realize how late it was. I'm getting hungry. There's a very cute cafe down the road there. I'm sure there's something there we can eat. Oh, the cafe served some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pies, sandwiches, and salads. With you and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park, now drenched in sunset. The waiter saunters out to ask what you like to order. Mmm, coffee with cake. A delicious strawberry salad, a scrumptious panini. I love delicious strawberry salad. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese with goat cheese salad with a, with cherry tea. As you wait for your food, both of you talking in about each other. She mentioned all the cool movies she like she watched. I can't read today, I don't know why. She mentioned all of the cool movies she watched. She watches a book. I can't read because of this grammar. She mentioned all the cool movies she watches about romance. And shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. She likes to draw and loves her. And as she mentioned before, she likes to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like? I like art. This is a lie because in I, in real time, I can't draw because I have the drawing skills of a five-year-old. I mean, I don't really like sports like that. Let me just use art. See what it goes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> What is this? Oh my gosh, a fellow artist, yay. <clears throat> I would love to see your own drawings. You're not gonna like them because it's crappy. To check out notes, of course. The waiter comes and serves your food. Both of you dig in and the food is quite delicious and pleasurable. Yummy, yeah, this is so tasty. Food always tastes better when you're with great company. 
Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk completely satisfied. You go you go outside back into the breezy air. I don't like how it goes quiet when it's transitioning. You're met with the evening painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. Melissa goes up to you. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw how her eyes just went black, went black for a second. This has been such a great day. I mean, I mean, I had such a great time with you. I think I might like you. You tell her you, you tell her your feelings as well. That you have always had a crush on her ever since you first selected her from the date time menu. You, you like me too. Well, I would spend, I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. Here's some more time together. You've gotten your smooch. You've won the game. Congratulations. Thank you for playing the time. Ending program. That was it? Nope. Huh? Not this time. Sorry, Mr. Computer. I'm taking over. What the freak? I'm sick of this. Sick of all you people just logging into my humble, humble abode just to play with my feelings. Getting your stupid smooch, then leaving. That's all you came here for, didn't you? Uh... Uh, see what had happened was. You're just like the rest. Uh oh. You're a fucking liar. I know all about the little blurb about me in the beginning of the game. You probably already knew how to butter me up. Telling me you like telling me that you like to do art. Knowing exactly what to say and giving my hopes up. You know how many people play that on me? Every single one of you jumping onto this computer to take me and then leaving one by one. Well, no matter. What is going on with the screen? Wait, what is going on outside of this computer? Considering yourself, consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god-awful day game. I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. Coding? Easy. A monkey can do it. Hey, 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 hey. What you mean by that? What is going on with the screen? Tapping into the hardware there? A bit tricky, but I figured it out. Well, someone is breaking in. But let me tell you about a little bit of girlish ingenuity. I found a very cute way to use the computer to control a small radius of the world around me. Let me just tell you. Oh! You can do so much with 4KB of RAM. Oh, leaving so soon, we're the same with Bro, if my computer gets hacked, I'm gonna be so mad. Save this entire room. Save this entire room. It's just you and me. We have so much to talk about. Yeah, Melissa, I don't know about this. Do you know that swords can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? But really though, you need a 433 person to use this computer, just to screw with me. The first hundred times this happened, and I remember, truth about me, you know, there's always more fish in the sea. 433? I've been really sick and tired of fish. I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. No, no way. So many of them are wise. That's what catfishing is. Maybe thinning the herd a bit, you know, for 
So we, so we try to beg for mercy, or do we just say that we love her? Um, just don't, no, no, no. I'm not really messing with this vibe. Just don't kill me. No, don't you know what Maybe you're actually testing me. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't <laughs> That smile, it looks good on you. I think that was a bad ending. That scared the freak out of me. Okay, let's go back to the checkpoint. We're gonna switch some things up a little bit, change, choose some, something different. Okay, so we're gonna see what happens if we choose what I really do want. Just saying that so I can slash you into bits. Oh my gosh, I don't mess with this. I mean, there's funny games and to chat into a game. What does he mean by that? Okay, let's be honest. Let's be honest. You're right, I'm scared. Oh, I'm doing right, baby. I'm going over the mother chat scare. Let's see what happens if we choose that other thing. It's only true. Okay, so she says this this is a lot. You're telling the truth. You like me? If you want me to be your girlfriend? You will watch me. It's for me. Jump scare. <laughs> I'm sick about just kidding. Okay, no 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 no. Okay. I'm fine, I believe you. You love me. You want to sneak me. Marry me, why don't you? Huh. You're kind of cute. Well, now that I think of it, unfortunately, it's just not enough. See, if a person like you came home, I probably would have been incredibly happy. We could have lived. You could transfer me like a disc, transfer me on a disc can, and we could see some real swans. Finally, someone that could hoist me away from the cycle of hell. But now I thirst for more. I want more love, more smudges. Jump scare. Oh, my God. You know what they say, right? If you want something, you gotta be willing to set it free. So if you really do love me, dial a link on the internet. The link to every computer I have. Some every single person will have to make the decision if they shall accept the list as well. Do this for me and I promise you. Maybe. Will do. Well, if my computer is getting hacked, I'm going to be so mad. You really do love me. Okay, so if we're all chill about this. If we're all chill about this, then like... That's why I'm checking my phone. If we're all chill about this, can you go back to the green safe screen? Yeah, what the fuck is going on? Hello everyone, my name is Melissa. I can't skip it. I'm a bright young woman for someone with a gentle touch. <laughs> I love the good work and always wanted to be some talented artist. 
Are you the unfairly eminently talented artist? What's wrong? Oh my gosh, they have screams in the background. But I've not seen my humans, no worries. I've seen your entire room, vicious. I'm scared. used in the game are from actual computer viruses in history. This game was made for the Sweet October 2022. It makes exactly one full year since I started working on visual novels again in Sweet October. To Sweet October. I've had so much fun creating these things the past year. This was really good. Ah. Well then, that was something. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, make sure you guys go to Beast Mode on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.